Hello, my name is Titi Jacob Sirichi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel, it's very necessary. And click on the notification bell so that if I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Let your comment come. Your comments keeps me going. So please let your comments come so that I can improve on my videos. Today our discussion on linear algebra and matrices for that matter will be another aspect of matrices. So far, we have learned a lot. We learned how to add matrices, we learned the forms of matrices, we learned how to find the determinant of a matrix 2 by 2 and 3 by 3. Today, before the video end, we will learn how to find the inverse of a matrix 2 by 2 and 3 by 3. This will be a very interesting discussion. So watch the video till the end. So we we'll start things off with the inverse of a, the 2x2 two two matrix. We learn how to find the determinant of a matrix. Please, it will be very, very necessary when we are going to find the inverse. So please, if you did not watch my videos on how to find the determinant of a matrix, please go to YouTube and search for the TJ Cap Sirichi and watch my videos on how to find the determinant of 2 by 2 and 3 by 3 matrix. Now, what we want to find, remember the inverse of this matrix, for the sake of some people, is written like this. We say it to be equal to A multiplied D, AD, minus B multiplied C, BC. You are aware of that. Now the inverse of this matrix is written like this. That's A exponent negative 1. That's the inverse of A. The inverse of A is just equal to 1 over the determinant of A times the adjoint. The adjoint of A. I hope you know what is a determinant already, which is this. Now what is the adjoint? What is the adjoint? So, if you have a matrix A, which is A, B, C, D, the adjoint of A, the adjoint of A, that's adjoint of A, is just simply means that swap the position for the principal diagonals. See, the A and the D are in the principal diagonal. Swap their positions. So, in place of A, you put D. In place of D, you put A. Maintain the position of C and B, but you negate them. I, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. So, if we have a matrix A like this, to be 2, 3, 4, minus 5. And we are asked to find the adjoint, the adjoint of A. The adjoint of the matrix A will be. So we'll swap the position for the principal diagonals. So negative 5. Then we have 4 here. We have 2 here. So this will go here. This will come here. Then we'll, we'll maintain the position of the 4 and the 3. But this time around, we'll negate them. So this becomes the adjoint of this matrix. Let's do one again. So if you have a matrix B to be equal to negative 2, negative 6. 4, negative 5. And we are asked to find the adjoint. The adjoint. So what do we do? Adjoint of B will just be, what do we do? We swap the position. So to find the adjoint of this B, we say we swap the position of this and this. Then we negate this. So when we swap, negative 5 will come here. Then we will maintain the position of that. It will be 6. Remember, we negate, so it will be cancelled. When we negate this, it will be negative 4. Then the negative 2 will come here. This becomes the adjoint of this matrix B. Okay. So I hope you know how to find the adjoint of a 2 by 2 matrix. So, the inverse of a matrix is just 1 over the determinant times the adjoint. Times the adjoint. So we take a sample question and we find the inverse of such a matrix. So there is a sample question here. They say if a matrix A is 6, 2, 23, 8, find the inverse of A. This simply means the inverse of A. So remember we said the inverse of A 
is equal to 1 over the determinant of A times the adjoint of A. The adjoint of A. So 1 over the determinant times the adjoint. So how do we find the determinant? Remember the determinant. We said this multiply this minus this multiply that. So we have 6 times 8 minus 23 times 2. 6 times 8, that will be 48. 23 times 2, that will be 46. So the determinant, 48 minus 46 is 2. The determinant of this matrix is 2. Is 2. So the next thing is that we we'll find the adjoints of A. The adjoint. We know the determinant already, so we we'll find the adjoint of A. Remember the adjoint of A, we said we we'll swap the position of this. Then we we'll maintain this and negate them. So we have 8, negative 2, negative 23, 6. So we we'll swap this to this place, this to there. Then we negate this by maintaining their position. So now we know the adjoints. And we know the determinants. We just have to tune. We just have to tune. So remember we said the inverse of the matrix will be 1 over the determinants times the adjoint. Times the adjoint. So the inverse of A will be 1 over. What is the inverse? It's 2. Is here. 2. So times the adjoint. Times the adjoint. What is the adjoint? This is the adjoint. 8, negative 2, negative 23, 6. So, when we polish this, is it half or multiply everything here? So, 2 divide everything. Half times 8 will be 8 over 2. So, half 8 over 2 minus 2 over 2, then negative 23 over 2, then 6 over 2. What are we getting? The inverse, then 4 will be 8 divided by 2 is 4. Is 4. Now, negative 2 divided by 2 will be negative 1. Negative 23 divided by 2, that will be negative 11.5. If you divide it very well, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then this becomes the inverse of this matrix. Of this matrix. I hope, I hope you get that. I'll solve one more so that you will get a concept. So, we'll solve another question. They say if the matrix B is equal to 1, negative 4, 2, 2. Find the B inverse, the inverse of B. So remember, we said the inverse of B will be equal to 1 over the determinant of B times the adjoint of B. Adjoint of B. How do we find the determinant? You know, the determinant will be this multiply this minus this one. So 1 times 2 minus 2 times negative 4. 1 times 2, 2. Minus 2 times 84, that will be plus 8. 2 plus 8 is 10. So the determinant of this matrix is 10. We need the adjoint. So we have, so we'll find the adjoint of B. Adjoint. The adjoint of B. This is very easy. So what we do, we swap the position of this and negate this. So we have 2, the 2 go here. We negate this for negate this. Negative 2, then the 1 will come here. That will be the, the adjoint of B. So the inverse of B is 1 over the determinant of B times the adjoint. Times the adjoint. So the inverse of B will be equal to 1 over. What is the determinant? The determinant is 10. Is 10. So we write it there, 10 times the adjoint, the adjoint is this. So 2, 4, negative 2, 1. So 10, we divide each of these. So we have 2 over 10, 4 over 10, negative 2 over 10, then 1 over 10. So I'll polish this, the inverse of B will be 2 divided by 10 will be 0 0.2. 4 divided by 10 is 0 0.4. 
negative 2 divided by 10 will be negative 0 0.2. Then 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1. This becomes the inverse of this matrix. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. So we have another question here. They say if the matrix A C is 13 to 5, find A times the A inverse. So let's see how it works. So we know A already, we need to find A inverse. And we learn how to multiply two matrices. Please, if you have not watched my video on that, go to YouTube and watch it. And remember to subscribe. So now let's find the inverse. Remember, we said the inverse of this matrix is 1 over the determinant of A times the adjoint. Times the adjoint. So we find the determinant of A. That would be 6 times 5 minus 2 times 13. So 6 times 5, 30. 2 times 13, 26. So 6 times 5, 30. 2 times 13 will be 26. 30 minus 26 is 4. Is 4. So the determinant is 4. What's the argument? The argument, argument of A will be. So we say we swap the position of this and maintain this ones and maintain them. So 5. Negative 13, negative 2, then 6. So, we have the matrix, we have the determinant and the argument. So, we can find the inverse. We say the inverse is equal to 1 over the determinant times the adjoint. Times the adjoint. So, 1 over the determinant is 4 times the adjoint. 5, negative 13. Negative two six. So this becomes our inverse. Please, I will now distribute the four over it for some reason because we are going to multiply this. We are going to multiply. So we have the matrix and the inverse. So we are asked to find a times a inverse. So that will be our a, which is six thirteen two five times the a inverse one over four. 5, negative 13, negative 2, 6. So we can bring the 4 here. So we have 1 over 4 bracket. 6, 13, 2, 5 times 5, negative 13, negative 2, 6. So we know how to multiply these two matrices. So let's go. So 6 times 5 plus 13 times negative 2. Then 6 times negative 13 plus 13 times this is. So the rule against the column. We renew that. We learned that already. So we take the second column, multiply the rule. 2 times 5 plus 5 times negative 2. 2 times 5, 5 plus negative 2. 5 times negative 2. Then 2 times negative 13 plus 5 times 5 times 6. So let's polish that. 1 over 4 bracket. 6 times 5. 30. 13 times negative 2. That will be negative 26. 6 times negative 13. That will be negative 78. 13 times 6 will be plus 78. 2 times 5 is 10. 5 times 2 will be negative 10. 2 times negative 13, 2 times negative 13, that will be negative 26. Then 5 times 6 will be 30. So we polish that. We have 1 over 4 brackets. 30 minus 26 is 4. Negative 78 plus 78 is 0. 10 minus 0 is 0. Then negative 26 plus 30 is 4. So we have this. We have this. Let's polish it. We have 1 over 4 bracket. 4, 0, 0, 4. So 4 will multiply. 1 over 4 multiply everything. So what are we getting? We get 4 over 4. 1 over 4 times 4 will be 4 over 4. 1 over 4 times 0 will be 0. 1 over 4 times this 0 will be 0. 1 over 4 times this 4 will be 4 over 4. Let's polish that. What are we getting? We get 1, 0, 0, 1. What is this? Okay. 
This is the hood, the identity, uh, the unit matrix for a 2x2 two two matrix. This is R, the unit matrix for a 2x2 two two matrix. So we can conclude that any time a matrix is multiplied by its inverse, it will be equal to the unit matrix. I hope, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. The next thing we'll do is that we'll learn how to find the inverse of a 3x3 three three matrix. Okay, so the next step is that we'll learn how to find the inverse of a 3x3 three three matrix. Please, this is a little bit tricky. So I indulge your attention. So first, also, the inverse of a 3x3 three three matrix is the same as 1 over the determinant times the argument. Times the argument. Now, what is the adjoint? That's the question. What is the adjoint? Okay, so the adjoint of A, the adjoint of a 3 by 3 matrix, the adjoint of A is giving us C exponent T. It's C exponent T simply means that C does it stand for cofactors. So C exponent T simply means the transpose, the transpose of the cofactors, cofactors, the transpose of the cofactors. What is the cofactor? What is our C there? See, our C is a very big matrix, a very, very big one as such. So we learn how to find a determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. We are going to use that trick to find the cofactors. So remember when we are doing determinant of 3 by 3 matrix, I said this is plus, minus, plus. Then this is minus, plus, minus. Then plus, minus, plus. However, I told you to use only this because it's easy to use. Now, what is the, the cofactor? The cofactor simply means that when we, find, we come to A, we will pick what is not under the A. That's H, uh, e, H, F, I. Then the plus will affect it. So plus. So E, H, F, I. The determinant of that. Then minus. The determinant of. Please, it's not subtracting. It's the determinant. The determinant of. Now we come to B. We'll pick what is not under the B. So we have D, G, F, I. I hope, I hope you are getting this. Then plus, plus. Now we come to C. We'll pick what is not under the C. So we'll pick D, G, E, H. That's for the first column. The first column. Please, it's a very big matrix. So that's why I indulge your attention. Now, you remember this is Negative plus, that's a negative, positive, negative. So we start things off with negative. Now we are in the middle. When we come to the middle, we will not pick what is in top of it and down of it. Rather, we will pick what is in top and down of the others. So we will pick what? B, H, C, I. I hope, I hope you are getting this. Then minus... Minus. Now we come to E. We will not pick what is in top and down of E. So we we'll pick A, G, then what? C, I, C, I. Remember, it's negative, positive, negative. This time around. Plus, minus, plus, minus. So minus A again. Now we are in the F. We will not pick what is in top of the F and what is down of it. We we'll come and pick what is in top and down of the other. So that's A, G, B, H. A, G, B, H. The determinant of that. Now we come to the down one. The down one is plus, minus, plus. So we start things off with the plus. The determinant of what is not on top of it. So we we'll pick what is on top of the other. The other two distances that are down. So that's all. B, C, E, F, E, F. 
Remember, it's plus minus, so minus. When we count to H, we know P what is on top of the H. So A, D, C, F. A, D, C, F. Then, plus again. When we come to the I, we will not pick what is on top of the I. So, A, D, B, E. A, D, B, E. This becomes the cofactors. This becomes the cofactors. Now, what is the, trans the, the transpose of the cofactors? The transpose of the cofactors means that the row here, see the column, will become the row. The column here will become the second row. Then the column here. Will be. So we say first column, first column becomes first row. Then second column, second column becomes second row. Then third column becomes the third row, the third row. Then that will become the transpose of the cofactors. The transpose of the cofactors. Then this becomes the adjoint. Becomes the adjoint. This is very tricky. Please take your time and study it. We'll solve a sample question covering this so that you will get a concept. So we'll take a sample question and solve. They say, find the inverse of a matrix A equal to this. So we say that. The inverse of A is 1 over the determinant of A times the adjoint. Times the adjoint. And what is the adjoint? The adjoint is the transpose of the cofactors. So we find the determinant first. Remember how to find the determinant. So plus, minus, plus. So you pick the first one, 0. The determinant of what is not under it. So 0, 1, 3, 4. Look at it. One pick zero. The determinant of what is not under the zero. Then minus. We we'll pick one. The determinant of what is not under these ones. So one zero three four. I hope you get that. Then plus or plus two. The determinant of what is not under these two. So we will not pick the three four. So one zero zero one. Please check out my videos on determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. So we go 0 times 4 times 0 is 0, minus 1 times 3, 3, minus 1, 1 times 4 is 4, minus 0 times 3, then plus 1, uh, 1 times 1 is 1, minus 0 times 0 is 0. So as we are, this will be 0 times negative 3, minus 1 times 0 times 3 is 0. 4 minus 0 is 4. Then plus 2 times 1 times 0. 1, 1 minus 0 is 1. So we polish that 0 times negative 3 will be 0. Negative 1 times 4 will be negative 4. Then 2 times 1 will be 2. So 0 minus 4 is still negative 4 plus 2 will be negative 2. So the determinant here is negative 2. It's negative 2. Now we'll find the adjoint. We'll find the adjoint. So we said the adjoint of A, the adjoint of A is this. That's the transpose of the cofactors. I told you that. I told you that. And what is our C? We say our C is a very big, is a very big matrix. Is a very big matrix. Okay, so we find C. That's the cofactors. I told you it's a very big matrix, so we, big, we make it big like this. So we use plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, then plus, minus, plus. Very, very important. Just to save us a guy. So remember, when we come to zero, we'll pick. The, we'll find a determinant of what is not under the zero. So, what is not under this zero is zero, one. Remember, it's plus. So, zero, one, three, four. Then minus. When we come to this one, the determinant of what is not under this one. So, that's what? One, zero. 
3, 4. A determinant of that. Remember, plus, minus, so plus, another plus. When we come to the 2, the determinant of what is known under this 2, so that's 1, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1. A very big matrix. Now we come to the middle one. So when we come to the middle one, we will not pick what is on top and down of it. We will pick what is on top and down of the others who are, which are in the middle. So when we come to one, remember it's negative, so negative. When we come to one, we will not pick what is on top and down of the one. We will pick this one, one, two, four. So one, one, two, four. Then plus. We come to this zero. We will not pick what is on top and down of it. We will pick rather this one. So zero, zero, two, four. Plus, minus. Uh, minus, plus, minus. So another minus. So when we come to this three, we will not pick what is on top and down of the tree. So we will pick zero, zero, one, one. Zero, zero, one, one. So we, we come to the last one, the last one. So this, the last column here. So we come to the last column. When we are on zero, we will not pick what is on top of the zero. We will pick what is on top of the rest, the one and the four. So remember, it's plus minus plus. So plus. So the zero will not pick what is on top of the zero. So we'll pick one, zero, two, three. Then minus. When we come to the 1, we will not pick what is on top of the 1. So we'll pick 0, 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. I hope you get that. When we come here, we will not pick what is on top of it. We'll pick 1, 0, 2, 3. When we come here, we will not pick what is on top of it. 0, 1, 2, 3. Now when we come here, we will not pick what is on top of this. So remember it to be plus a D. So we'll pick 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. I, I, hope, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. So you just find the determinant of all this. Then that becomes the, the cofactors. The cofactors. It, it's very, very interesting. Now let me try to solve that here. So that, so that you get a concept. Now let's go. So remember how to find the determinant. 4 times. So we have plus, it will be positive. So 4 times 0 minus 1 times 3. So we have 4 times 0 is 0. 1 times 3 is 3. So minus that. Then we come here. It will be negative. 1 times 4 is 4. Minus 0 times 3, that will be 0. Then plus, we come here. 1 times 1 is 1. 0 times 0 is the so minus that. It's a very big matrix. Now we come here. This times this minus this times that. So remember it's negative. It's negative. So 1 times 4 is 4. Minus 1 times 2 is 2. So plus again. We come here. 4 times 0 is 0. Minus 0 times 2 is also 0. Then we come in minus, minus. 0 times 1 is 0. Then minus 0 times 1 is also 0. So we come here. Remember, it's positive. The last one. We are almost there. So the last column. The last column. 1 times 3 will be 3. Minus 0 times 2. That was 0. 0 times 2 is 0. Without the determinants. Of a 2 by 2, this 2 by 2 matrix. Then minus 0 times 3 is 0. Then minus 1 times 2. That will be minus 2. Then the last one is positive. 0 times 0 is 0. Then minus 1 times 1 is 1. Now we subtract, we we'll get a matrix, and that becomes our cofactors. So this is what we have. We try to polish this. To get our cofactors. Our cofactor will be, it will be a matrix. 0 minus 3 will be just be negative 3. This place is positive, so it will still be negative 3. Then 4 minus 0 is 4. 
Remember there is negative there, so then negative 4. 1 minus 0 is 1. Then we come here. 4 minus 2 is 2. But there is negative, so we get negative 2. 0 minus 0 is 0. Plus, the plus will affect, so 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. The negative, we don't have negative 0, so 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. The plus will affect, so we have 3. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Times this negative 1, that will be 2. Then 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Then this becomes your cofactors. Your cofactors. So we have the cofactors as this. Now we find the transpose of the cofactors. Remember, we said the row will become the column. So this row will become the first row. Column here will become the first row. So we have negative 3, negative 4, 1. Then the second column will become the second row. So get negative 2, 0, 0. Then this will become the third row will become the third column will become the third row. So that will be 3, 2, negative 1. Then this becomes the adjoints. The adjoint of the matrix A. The transpose of the cofactors becomes the adjoints. So now we know our adjoints. Our adjoint is the transpose of the cofactors. Uh, this is a very long one, but if you practice it, you will become abreast with it. So now we have our adjoint and we have our determinant. We can find the inverse. We say the inverse is one over the adjoint, uh, the one over the determinant times the adjoint. Times the adjoint. Times the adjoint. So we substitute. So what do we have? 1 over, what is the determinant? Negative 2 times the adjoint. The adjoint is negative 3, negative 2, 3, negative 4, 0, 2, 1, 0, negative 4. So we just let this spread out. So what do we have? When negative multiply this, we get 3 out of 2. When negative half multiply this, we get 2 out of 2. When negative half multiply this, we get negative 3 out of 2. When negative half multiply this, we get 4 out of 2. Let me stretch this. When negative multiply this, so negative half times 0 will be 0. Negative half times 2 will be negative 2 over 2. Negative half times 1, that will be negative 1 over 2. Then negative half times 0 will be 0. The negative half times negative 1 will be 1 out of 2. Then this becomes our A inverse. Our A inverse. I, I, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. I will give you a sample question so that you try. You leave your answers in my comment box. Remember, the adjoint of a 3 by 3 matrix is a transpose of the cofactors. So I will leave an example on the board. So that you solve it. Leave, give me your answer, your answer in my comment box. Until we meet again. Bye bye.